Hey everybody. Okay, so you've got your Cryptvisor account. You've checked and detailed all of your privacy and security settings. And now you can add contacts. So let's go. So in order to add a contact in the Cryptvisor Secure Messenger, um, it's fairly similar uh, on the Android and on the iOS. It's a very similar, same procedure. Uh, what we need to do is um, we can, right away, we can just tap on the Invite a Friend to Cryptvisor. And once I tap on that, I have some many different options I can choose. I could share it via Facebook. I could share it uh, via Android Beam, uh, Bluetooth. I can send them an email. I could just send them an SMS. There's a lot of different ways that I can invite someone just to uh, install and use Cryptvisor. And when I send them an invite, it also includes my Cryptvisor ID. Yeah, so that's a great option. The other way you can do it is on the top right here, there's a little plus button. And if you tap on that, boom, you have the search. Now, the best thing to do is to know someone else's Cryptvisor ID. And when you do know that, all you just need to do is type it in. There is no searchable database where you can just scroll down and take a look at all the users. Um, so I will just search for this contact, type this thing, and boom, found. So I found this person, and I'm going to send a request. So I type in send. Now, I have my iPhone here and also set up. And as you can see, I just received a request. Bob is great, 23. If I type on that, I open my Cryptvisor ID with my thumbprint, I have here an invitation. Bob is great, accept or decline. Well, since Bob is so great, I'm going to accept this request. Now we're initiating the public key exchange. It, uh, most, most times you have to wait a few, a few, maybe 10 seconds or so. This one, however, wow, this was incredibly quick. And now that uh, I have accepted that, as you can see in the Android, uh, I am now, Mark Babbitt, am now M1 contact of Bob is Great. And looking at the iPhone, I also see here in boldface, uh, Bob is Great 23. Boom. And here is Bob's profile. Now, if I want, I could send Bob a message right away. Uh, if I use the uh, iOS, I just type on it. Your partner has accepted the chat. You can start a secure conversation right now. Hello, Bob. Send. And on the Android, <clears throat> I have a little red dot here. Oh, someone just wrote me. There it is. And hello, Bob. That's it. That's basically setting up different contacts. And as I mentioned, uh, whether you are using an iOS or an Android, the process is fairly straightforward. Uh, either A, you know the user's name, yeah? You know the, your contact's username, and you just search for it in the search, or you can send them an invite. And in doing so, when you send them an invite, you are sending them, A, the link to the App Store, whichever app you're using, store, the, the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, and you're also sending them your username. So those are the two ways you can download, and uh, those are the two ways that you can invite people and start adding contacts and start building up a contact list. So now... When you send someone a message, there are a lot of things you can do with that also. Yeah, there's a lot of options. And we talked about setting up some of these security features. Yeah, we, we talked about already, we talked about uh, disallowing forwarding my messages or screenshot control or, or uh, forwarding my name control, where you can't forward my username if you're going to forward a message of mine or copying my messages. That is what we're going to show next time. So until then, take care.